Hello and welcome back, y'all. The Play versus Fall 2022 High School Championship featuring Rocket League is here with you, coming to you live from the Florida Association of School Administrators. Once again, we've got hot games coming to you in your home, in your studio, wherever you're at. Let's enjoy some games here with my good fellow, Locus. How you doing, dog? Other way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. I'm excited for some Rocket League here. And it's so awesome to have associations like the Florida Association of School Administrators, you know, willing to support esports and kind of give these high school students the opportunity to show what they've got. A lot of these players put a lot of time and that dedication into practicing these these esports and I'm sure these two teams that we're going to see today are no different. So I'm excited to see how it goes down on the pitch today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, yo. Like, Rocket League at a high school level, as we've been watching throughout this entire series and throughout these championships and brackets that we watch nearly every week, it's been incredible. Not only see the level of skill not only improve, but dramatically shift and evolve as we see these brackets go on. Because these finals have been true tests of not only skill, but a true representation of the amount of consistency and work you've put in to make it to the top like that. And it's just been beautiful to see. Yeah. So the two teams that we've got going today are the Doral Academy Firebirds A-team. And then we have Crusader Esports coming out of Bishop Kenny High School. Uh, so these two teams going to be going at it today. Uh, made it to the finals of this eight-team bracket. Going to be playing a, a nice best of seven for us. We get a lot of Rocket League action. I'm really excited to see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Rocket League is one of those games where not only does it require a lot of technical skill, as in you know, like how long you've put, in, put work into the lab, how long you've put into practice, how long you've been able to really hone your style of play and your level of their minimum level of skill to be able to keep up with others, but also that coordination, that communication, that teamwork, that synergy. When it comes down to it, you can't rely on yourself to win these games. And when you, ha you see that kind of actual click, of teammates' brains starting to lock together, sort of synergize. That's when the true game starts to shine. And I'm sure we'll see plenty of that today. Yeah. And these teams, you know, they don't just, they, a lot of these teams, they don't just play together for the sake of, of this one, you know, bracket. A lot of these players have been playing together for like their whole high school career, right? You know, you've got your friends that you play on these teams with and the, they build that synergy up for so long and then they get to, you know, showcase it at an event like this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see how it's going to go for, for both of these teams. Um, yeah, getting that chance to, to show their stuff on a, on a big stage like this. Yeah. And I mean, I do want to ask one quick question here, and is that when you see a real roadblock hit you in Rocket League, like let's say, for example, the boost monopoly is being overtaken and you're not quite sure what to do. Just an example for our viewers here as like one of those potential problems. Would you say it's more important to kind of demo and to counter, or would you say maybe more team counterplay by getting more offensive plays in with passes, or what do you think about the game and how you would kind of counteract that kind of uh, problem we could see today? Yeah. Honestly, for me, it, it feels a little bit less um, important to actually have um, a specific strategy. Like, I think these teams have different play styles that they go towards, um, and that's what's really important for these teams. If the if the team is a team that likes to play around demos, I think that that's great. Um, but they just have to be ready to play around those, right? And oh, right off the bat already, what? Crusader, not not wasting any time, taking that first goal to the net. It's Kappa is going to be the one who puts that one in. Very clean. I mean, hey, four second goal to start us off. That's what I'm talking about, yo. Kappa is not wasting any time for Crusader Esports. And once again, we're just getting started here. It's only game one before we got an explosive start. I mean, I, we, we barely even got to see that goal go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rocket League, a game that can be extremely explosive or it can have, you know, situations where both teams are working to crack through the opponent's defense. Um, so we'll have to see how the rest of this pacing throughout this game goes here. They are keeping yeah. it in the end of Doral Academy. Crusader doing a good job here of keeping the ball out. A few more passes going back and forth. The ping pong. We all know and love. Oh, a huge save from Kisito. Very, very nice. Let me see, go back toward, toward, towards. Oh my god, this ping pong is insane! <laughs> This both teams running back and forth. Yeah, it's always so impressive to me how these players can just 
just seamlessly navigate this ball in the middle of the air throughout the arena. Like, I have a hard enough time tr keeping the ball in control on the ground. These players are taking to the sky, controlling that ball. Very impressive play. Ball being controlled as well by Kateria towards this corner here. However, it's going for a steal. One more time, go for a setup, but nice clear from Magic. Not gonna get it out of their end. Put it right back up. Tectonics going up. It's gonna put it off the backboard. No teammate to assist. Ooh, big demo there on Magic Majin. Ooh, well, hold on. A shot here. A little <laughs> double save. You can see the entirety of Cassidy Sports looking to save that ball. Ain't nothing's getting past them. Yeah, when all else fails, put all three of your members in the net and make sure somebody's got it. <laughs> Create the wall. Three cards, and then we can pass them. Yeah, and this is sometimes how the game is played. You get that one goal, and then you don't have to worry about making a, a giant lead. Of course, it's nice, but really all you have to do is stop your opponents from scoring. But Firebirds have an opportunity is knocked back to center. Mm. And uh, this is a good defense here. It might have been a bit of a surprise there immediately from Kappa get that initial goal. But that initial goal could be huge. Oh! No, not the self goal! <laughs> <laughs> and Nixium with the shot from across the pitch. One net to the oh, other. Okay. Wow, that was gorgeous. I thought it was a self goal for a second, but it was actually a beautiful long shot like you said. Nixium. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, like, getting that, that perfect angle, even the arc on it to make it hard to, you know, deal with, even if there were people there. But, yeah, Crusader, we're all on the other end and didn't have the opportunity to uh, make that one, make a save on that one. All good now, though. Nice, at least the skill board's evened up. No real worries now. It's better getting the lead or at least taking it to overtime. Two minutes left on the clock. A lot of stuff can happen here. Running a fast game, there's not a lot of options to... Um really play extremely slow in a game like this, and it can end up in being some really head-to-head -head scores, back and forth, back and forth, trying to get that lead, try to create that cushion so you can really sit down and let that lead uh, do the work for you. Absolutely. And also, you don't really want it to get to overtime, <laughs> and Academy Firebirds, it's Kappa, getting his second of the game. After that quick one at the start. Oh, look at that two-touch, too. Self -pass. Wow! <laughs> Just popping that up in the air, making sure to follow it. Very, very clean from its Kappa here. Crusader now on the back foot. Going to have to make something happen in this last minute 30 of play. You can really see that true potential of tech skill that these players have. The amount of practice they've put in to have the control of their cards, the amount of practice they've put in to have that real knowledge of where the ball's going to be, those team plays strategic movements of not only being in the right place at the right time, but also being able to defend at the right time. Really good stuff we're seeing so far. Yeah, Rocket League is a pretty freeform game in the the types of movements you can do. You know, you can rotate your car, you have all the boosts, you have that full aerial mobility. Um, so knowing where you want the ball to go and also how to make the ball go there is just so impressive from these players. Little we'll bounce up there, set up potentially, oh. but off the corner. You can see the Prima just barely keeping it out of Magic Majin going in. And you got some offense started for the side of Firebirds here. But good defense as well from Crusader to be able to dribble it right away. Keep it going back and forth, not letting anything really get started too much here. Yeah, it's Kappa is flying towards it. They aren't going to get anything started here. Firebirds are going to make it back this time to defend. Oh, but Ooh. sets it up for the opponent. And Crusader, Mako, is going to punish them for that. 2-2, two, two, 20 seconds left in our first game. That was super clean. Nice little sideways shot. Right to the left side. Pretty hard to block. Unless you've seen that coming from Holloway, but who's going to see that coming from Holloway out of the corner like that? Really a solid offense here. So far for Crusaders. Even though they have once again, they get 15, 13 seconds left. And there's not much chances to really this game until we get into overtime here and once again the ball while the ball's in the air the timer does not stop all you new watchers here so we see this dribble for a minute here stuck at one second we'll see if we can get any kind of goal to end this game real quick but not going to happen anytime soon hits the ground and we're in overtime oh. yeah so the only goals that we've seen uh crusader esports take on firebirds have just been because they haven't been able to get back to their net after these strong offensives 
They've mm. been making some some great plays work when they're all three up there like that, but they have to be careful not to let that ball get behind them. Speaking of which, they being dribbled over right now by the side of Crusaders. Trying to take him all the way over. Nixon. He had dribbled out as well. And once again, like you said, that defensive line getting shattered just a little bit by that offense that really, they're really driven, clearly, to get, initiate these team plays, but if it leaves your defense wide open, that could be dangerous. And what an air demo real quick from Karima. <laughs> oh, and the quick save from Nixio. It's Kappa being denied the hat trick, almost getting that third goal. Hang in there now. Just breathe, players. As we get into this overtime on game one, it's truly a test of mental stamina. These players are meant to be focused five minutes at a time. Five minutes at a time. Maybe about seven with replays and stuff, but about five minutes at a time for each match. And at that point, when you get over that, it's roughly a game where you need constant focus. If you lose focus for even a second, that could be the end of the match. Yeah, there are some games where you get a little bit of a breather from the action, but in Rocket League, if you stop for even a split second and are in the wrong place, the enemy team is there. <gasps> oh, that gorgeous shot in the corner. <laughs> Lucido is going to take that one with the pass from Magic Majin. Let's see this shot again here. Oh, an attempted oh. save. You can see. Just put it right Two into the corner. Defenders. That's just not enough. Not enough this time. For now, you will see. Uh, once, of course. Now, yeah, Firebird's taking that yeah. first game. So strong start from them, Rob, right from the, the very start, actually, with that seven second or so goal right off the bat. Yeah. Uh, Crusader kind of fighting on the back foot throughout that whole whole game. So we'll have to see whether they're able to, you know, start a little bit stronger and stop that first goal from happening. And then maybe we'll see a different game when they're not fighting on the, on the back foot. Yeah. I mean, of course, they did make that comeback real quick. Or really did seal that lead real quick, fighting mm -hmm. for it back and forth, back and forth. And off that first shot, it instills a sense of dominance and a little bit of fear in your opponent's heart when you're able to get mm -hmm. shots like that and all of a sudden they're fighting back and before they even had the chance to realize who they were fighting, honestly. <laughs> it's been, yeah. it was literally four seconds and then we just see, boom, that's a goal on this thing. All right, step up now. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. So we'll have to see going into game two, that first game mattering so much, you know, best of seven. You want to have that advantage. You want to have that little bit of a safety net. So Firebirds are going to be feeling good going into this game too, which is scary when you have that confidence going into a game and you, you feel like your team is meshing. This is going to be tough for Crusader. Yeah. We just have to see a lot of good defensive plays. Again, we did mention just how much they try to overextend sometimes a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. I do see at least one kind of staying back for at least a while, but when it comes down to it, if that is an opening your opponents can have, they're going to take it every single time, right? They're going to jump on that and make sure that you pay for any kind of mistake that you leave open for them. And we see how these teams adapt because not only does it come down to that communication, the adaptation, but also that ability to really analyze your opponent and find weaknesses and find those cracks in their armor that Chisholm will lay at, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, um, it's a lot. And when you're thinking about you know, pushing all three members of your team forward. It's really that kind of risk reward, right? The reward mm. when you have all three teammates in the thick of it, ready to chase down that ball and ready to try and put it in the back of the net. It can be so strong for your team. But yet again, the risk that's associated with that, if the ball gets behind you and there's nobody there in the net, <laughs> you could just take a little bit of a rolling goal. Um, mm. So we'll have to see how it goes for, for Crusader and Firebirds here on game two, which should be coming up shortly. Yeah, I'm excited to see Firebirds as well, see if they can actually amp up that offense, or if they're going to try and focus on defense now that they have a lead, and try to see if they can analyze their opponent a bit more, start finding out more weaknesses, and start really see if they can get their snowball going, even more than it's going now, because that game one, that went a lot mentally. That is a huge statement, not only to have an early goal, but a comeback goal as well, in that overtime, to force them to really have to think, is it possible to crack their defense? Is it possible to get that lead first? And you say, if you don't let it be possible, then... The mental interest got weaker and weaker, right? Yes, exactly. <sighs> Look at this shot, too. The water, the this stadium. This is gorgeous. Rocket League is a very pretty game. Like, even just the goal explosions and stuff, like, it's just a mm. very, very nice, appealing, visually game. Yeah. I mean, just look at these buildings, yo. It's beautiful. The lighting, the sun shining down. I know we're in winter, but I kind of miss this. Yeah, absolutely.
<laughs> I wanted to throw a shout out to uh, It's Kappa as well for, for scoring those two goals for, for the Firebirds during that, uh, that first five minutes. Made some crazy plays in that first game, and I'm excited to see what he does in the second game here. Oh, definitely. Here we go once again. No four-second goals this time. You can see Firebirds are looking to get the offense started real quick, and so are Crusaders. Better clap back for that first game. Slightly over the goal here. Not really enough first shot. We're gonna get a huge demo on Prima here. Pick him up from the defender line when they're waiting for them to respawn. Nothing too crazy though. Mostly yeah. trying to get any kind of setup started. Crusader doing a good job there of keeping the ball out of their end. It's uh actually them on the offensive when when we were talking so much about Firebirds taking that offensive in the first game. Mm. But they're making an offensive of their own here. Oh, they are going to get the ball in front of the net, but aren't going to be able to convert that into a goal. You can see Fabra trying to really set up these nice shots for their teammates, but then they're all their teammates all trying to set up. No one's ready for the shot itself, right? The communication is going to be so integral to actually landing those shots and making those goals not just an idea. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, that ball was going fast towards the net, got in front of it. All right, they're going to clear it into the Crusader end here. Firebirds looking to make something happen here. Tectonics is going to put a stop to that. Oh, ball bouncing in front of the net. Okay, wow. and Tectonics <laughs> with the save here as well. Defense from Tectonics has been smooth here in the second game. We're kind of going for a bounce over, kind of set up once again, but you can see nobody's really ready for these passes, so at least not one like that. And this seems to go for a little slight tap towards the goal. No dice this time. Crusaders. Hoping to get an early goal, but once the thing is early, when we're already two minutes in, and look, they really start breaking this ice here. Yep, it's in Firebird's end here. Crusader is going to put it up in front of the net. Oh, Tectonics will take another Whoa. rebound off the back. But with that Nobody demo, shot. Firebirds are going to push it out of there and. Double whiff on that ball <laughs> in the air there. <laughs> it's all right. Nerves get to you sometimes. It's all good. Yeah, and I do want to emphasize, like, these whiffs and some of these, like, you know, mispositionings not being in the right spot, this is incredibly difficult. Like, mm -hmm. them even being close to making these plays is extremely impressive from both of these teams. Yeah. Um, so seeing a little whiff like that is, that yeah, is not, um, not something to be ashamed of. These players are incredible. Let's set up here as well. You say here, but nice. Let's from oh, slow tip towards the net. Oh, it's Kappa. Him. Yeah, it gets it out of there. It's going to carry it downfield here. It's bouncing Ready in motion. front of the net. I'm trying to save it, but a little bit too slow. Is any tectonics? Try oh. and actually set this up. But again, nobody's ready. Yeah, I tried to hit it with the side of the car there and didn't get enough momentum on it. Didn't put it towards the net. Isido is going to try and push this out of his end it's kappa and casino both going for it <laughs> but nixium with the save Goes back over here imagine margin i'm going to catch up here as kappa takes it right all the way back over set up firebirds for a nice little bounce back over towards the other side but again no dice they bounce it right back trying to set up for a shot here it's in front of the goal but nobody's ready a little bit too early inside of mako there but nixium sets it up one more time they need one chance as we get into the last minute 20 of this match and the chance is starting to run thin. Yeah, this is the point in the game where every second matters. And as soon as this pressure starts mounting, it can be so hard to keep keep your cool. So I want to see these players, you know, continue to play some clean Rocket League and keep the ball out of their own end, making sure not to get behind here with one minute remaining. Ooh, great shot Off from Nixium. Attempts here. Kappa with a little bump. A little bit too slow. Those knuckles there just in time. I'd imagine. And he got here on defense. Just really out beats uh, Nixium there. Let's beat him. Oh, and off the, the roof here from Nixium. Oh, my goodness. And he uses that flip just to reposition the ball. This was so clean. Look at that control as well. Just hovering right next to it. Able to catch up to it around the corner there. Beautiful curve to make a shot happen. It must seem like in the Buffalo angle. Consider Esports, just one point could mean this game's for them. 
Yeah, that was such masterful use of the boost there too. Just making sure to get under that ball a little bit before using that uh, that flip to get the reset. <laughs> oh, okay. Look Scary looks. here. That would be the nail in the coffin if Crusader was able to put another one away right here. Mm. Ooh, good demo from Nixium. <clears throat> that nail may have already been hammered down though with the 10 seconds left. This is Fiber's last chance to make a shot Crusader Esports on the defense now. Nixium bumps it all the way back in the middle. Prima trying to set up anything, but Nixium's dribbling, dribbling, keeping all the ground. Imagine motion, has little chances. Prima's got it back in the air. Oh, Kappa's got, got it up. It's possible, it's in the front of the goal. It's one shot, but nobody's ready. And of course, Nixium goes into the ground. Cure a very solid point on the side of Doral Academy Fireboards. Once again, that was clean. That was clean. You love seeing games like this happen. Yeah, Crusader firing back in this game too. It's a relatively slow and controlled game, but that's what you have to do in order to win games like this when the pressure is really on. So shout outs to both of these teams for the most part keeping the ball out of their own ends. And then mm. for Crusader for taking that goal with the about a minute remaining. Oh, Might have actually oh, been an own goal there. Yeah, Obviously not intentional. Something. It just yeah, oh, a couple yeah. ball comes down from the sky and bounces off of you in kind of a strange way. <laughs> oh, fight there from Kappa, trying to set up for the team. It's right in front of the goal, oh, and a huge dunk oh. from Magic Majin! That's the one they needed. That back-to-back -back offense can really be a huge playmaker here. That's exactly what you were mentioning earlier, too. It's Kappa's clears. Getting that ball in a perfect situation where Magic Majin can kind of just sweep in and make that goal happen. And we're seeing just how much they're focusing on that follow-up game now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's two quick goals. Really turning this around on Crusader. Nixium in front of the net. Whoa, what a mix-up! Oh. <laughs> see the dribble control on that? <laughs> He's playing a little game of chicken. He's like, when am I going to shoot? When hey, am I going to hey, shoot? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, making Kappa jump a little bit too early. Majin's a little bit too late. And Prima just cast the and watch the fire happen. Two, I two love this. Match. Yeah, both teams kind of throwing down the gauntlet here and saying, we don't have to play defensive. We can make <laughs> these plays happen. Uh, I love to see it. Yeah, and it goes to show like those early games are really for learning your opponent's weaknesses, learning how you can get those goals, make them happen, and kind of take that time to really build your strategy around what you're seeing. And then now we're seeing it now, that offense coming into play from both players and both teams. I mean, it's incredible to see the sparks fly here. It's Kappa getting it down the field. Isido is going to go up here. He's not going to be able to make much happen with it. He's going to have to get back and help out his team. Nice little throw off the middle here. See Mako trying to get ready for any kind of shot. They see him diving for the ball here. Hits it down like a mad dog. Mako with the downwards dunk. Hard to block, but Mino Mako's got it. Downwards angles that are so hard to cover because the angle can just be. If you're a little bit too low, you just bump right into your own net, and then it's a nightmare. Yeah, and Magic Majin has been kind of taken to the skies in this game three. You hadn't seen too much of that in the first two, but it's nice to see him kind of gain that confidence, and try and make some of these shots happen. Go back to the Static Crusaders here. Offensive Ooh. chance for Firebirds. Nice little shot right back, and right back. No, you take it. No, you take it. <laughs> Both teams not wanting any chance of them being scored on here. Kind of in the corner here, it's Kappa. Wasn't able to clear that properly. It does look like it's going to be pushed out of their, their end for now, but in front of the net. Okay, nobody was in the position to actually capitalize on that. Saw an open net with the ball in front. Thank you. A little too. bit scared. That offensive play that we're seeing from both teams is really getting better and better. All it takes is two players have to be ready, and we're all look, we're likely to see a goal almost every time. Yeah, it's Kappa is going to go for that two touch there. Is not going to get it on the net. Quesito. Can't shoot solo, but oh! you can make <laughs> a miracle the shot. Board. The self alley oop here. Yes, off the side there. Tectonics is a little bit off angle there. You can see Mach trying to make that save, but not quite high enough in the air. and. 3-2 with 4 seconds left for Seder. It's now or never. Yep. Clock doesn't start till the ball is touched. But now they're going to have to score without the ball being off the ground. And Firebirds might actually put another Whoa. one away. Nah. No, ball will get put back down on the ground. 
and Firebirds will take their second win of this series, bringing us to 2 1 for the Firebirds. Very nice. Yeah, and six best of seven, too, right? Yep, best of seven. So we've got a couple mm. games left for sure. Both of these teams, like you mentioned, kind of ramping up. The aggression is kind of starting. These players are <laughs> we're starting to see more demos. We're starting to see more of those aerial plays. You know, maybe a little bit of nerves right at the start, but these players are starting to feel right at home, confident yeah. on the field. Not to mention, I want to say the momentum that carries over, not from just having a head-to-head like this, but not having a major lead. Like Maybe if a team was up 2-0, the morale might go down a little bit. Might be a little scary to try and keep up, but... When you really think about how fun this must be for the players, how much they've been training and how much they love showing off throughout the skill, like the team doesn't keep up with them, that's good stuff. You love to see it. Yeah, and when you're only down one game, it's so much easier to let that fuel you rather than to let mm. that get you down or let that, you know, kind of get at you. So both of these teams, I'm sure, wanting to, you know, make this next game count here in game four. Yeah. Uh, best of sevens, long sets, like you mentioned. It's it's hard to stay mentally focused for that long, even for a five minute game, with how on you have to be. And as this set goes longer, I I'm curious how these teams are going to handle that because it's it's definitely tough over a long set like a best of seven. Yeah, I wonder if they really do practice overtime matches. I mean, I, I I'd imagine you can customize the settings so maybe they go for like seven minute matches, ten minute matches, just to get ready for overtime potential, right? But back when it comes down to it, I do want to see that potential be pushed to the limit right this overtime is, that seems inevitable to me really to see more overtime as these teams have been so head-to-head so good at offense so good at defense and i wonder who will crack first when it comes down to that defensive uh, ability to make sure these plays can't be made all the time absolutely we get our good old overhead shot of the arena here as the teams are setting up for game four just want to give another shout out to the florida association of of school administrators for just allowing this to happen and for, for supporting esports in this way. Um, oh, it's so 100%. awesome to see these students get to show what they've got. And they've definitely be, been doing that so far in these first three games that we've seen. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to uh, actual high school competition, I am so, so happy that we get to see competition, not only at this level, but competition that allows this uh, many people to truly feel like they're able to like be at the right place at the right time and speaking of right place at the right time nixium with a solid shot this generation of players is only getting stronger and i don't think i've ever seen high school students play this well yeah that was i mean it was firebirds who first got that goal in in game one and crusader actually beating their time with that six second goal here in game four Firing back here. They want to even up that series 2-2. Yeah, really clean so far. I mean, when you have an answer back like this, the Firebirds have got to be shaking their boots at least a little bit. Nice little clear back towards the goal of Crusaders here. If we cram a kind of fight for any kind of setup, but the Crusaders are ready. Ready to defend. Let's right. the corner. Clear the Crusader do actually get it out of their end here, and it's Kappa is ready to return it. Gonna try and set up a goal here in the Crusader end. Whew. Look at Washington for <laughs> trying to block the Crusader right now. They're doing a good job of like, even though the ball has been spending a lot of time in their end, it hasn't looked like they've been able to, or that Firebirds has been able to put together any scoring opportunities. So great defense here from Crusader. Mmm. And Mosh as well. Got a little bounce up here. It's ready for Kappa, but a little bit off on the shot. It's all right, Zoys, next time. You can see, you can at least trust your teammates to set up those shots for you and make it the reality a possibility. Yeah. Firebirds will get it out of their end again here. Spending so much time on that Crusader end. But there's just they're just committing to that defense. And they know that they don't actually have to make any crazy plays happen or go for anything risky by moving too many of their players up the field. All they need to do is just make sure that that ball does not go in their net. Uh, and scary in front of the net. <laughs> Will not just be able to make one, something happen. One charge from the side of Firebirds there could have sunk it in, but they were also busy just trying to get it in from the sides or something. The defense from Crusaders is clearly showing. Yep. 
Nixium does put that ball up. Doesn't capitalize on it. Chooses just to kind of like move back, get some boost, make sure that there's somebody in net here. Oh! And thank goodness he did step back <laughs> yeah. because he was last second for that save. That was a near block from Kappa, but we're good. We're good. No worries. Mm -hmm. Imagine much as well. Trying oh. to get back towards the defense, but Nixium, while the goal is open, it's time to shoot. Yeah, Nixium, definitely the MVP of this game so far, making some saves happen, scoring two goals now. Putting Crusader in a great spot to even up this series with about half of game time remaining. They're very clean. 2-0 lead so far for Crusader. This has been the first time we've seen us 2-0, like a, a team be up too. Mm -hmm. Which is going to be big for them. That's, like you were mentioning, the, the momentum moving forward. It's going to be so huge for them to be able to stay with Firebirds and not get too far behind. Tectonics trying to see if they can support Nixium there for that shot, but no dice on that one. Crusader Esports hoping to just play it slow, don't be too overcommittal, and overall, keep that defensive line solid, because one big lapse of judgment can be it, and Mako, of course, is there, still focused, still ready. The mental stamina has not been grand for them yet. All right, are spending Ooh. some more time in Firebird's ends here. Nixium going up. It's not going to be able to redirect that ball towards the net here. Oh, the setup. Ah, oh, the tonic's a little bit too high. One more Nixium. time. Nixium. Ah! Oh, Nixium going one v three in front of the net and almost making it happen. That's going to menace this game. Buffed all the way that net there. The little. Uh... They'll ring around it. The tonics as well. Try to keep up with the team. At least <laughs> try and make Firebird's life a little bit harder by making it harder for them to clear the ball. It took a while there. And this slowing down the side of Firebird's can be so valuable for the side of Crusaders here because at least less chance they have for a comeback, the better as we try to seal out this uh, game for here. Oh, oh no! They might have went a little bit too far there. Nobody was in their end, and Nixium just absolutely sends the ball down the field no time for firebirds to react it's gonna put his third goal away of the game and probably seal the deal for crusader to tie up this set looking good here nice little trade going over to the south crusader esports but an immediate demo on tectonics this could be brutal that respawn time's not very long but the boost it resets you and uh just being down for a couple seconds can be so influential to, to gameplay here and so official to uh, actually running the strategic offenses of getting around players, making sure they're baited towards certain areas and making these goals happen because Firebirds needed that. Absolutely. Yeah, with only 17 seconds left, you'd need a couple of goals instantly and then a couple of juggle goals probably to make this happen. But it looks like Crusader's going to keep the ball on the ground, make sure that there's no chance here for Firebirds. And they are going to fire back in this game four. Yeah, this has been really clean. Kappa could dunk it back down. Oh, kept near for just a moment, but that'll be just a moment. As, of course, Crusader Esports evening up the scoreboard 2 2 in best of seven. And, of course, it's suddenly become a best of three. Yeah, only two more games for either of these teams. So, this next game. I mean, all of these games mattering a lot. But this game five is going to put one of these teams on set point, which is so scary <laughs> uh, moving into the, the later portions of this set. You do not want your opponent to have the ability to just end the set with one game. Uh, so this next game five going to be so important for both these teams. Yeah, I do want to mention as well, like that set point, just that situation of being in it and the tension you have in a bracket like this. You're in grand finals. You've been fighting this for quite some time now. And when we're at this point, we're getting matches back and forth, where the tension's high, your adrenaline's running. When it gets to that match point, either your adrenaline dies or it kicks in the maximum. And hopefully, yep. these players are ready to actually kick it one level higher. Yeah, sometimes that's what it takes. You need your back against the wall in some of these situations for you to really show what you're made of. Um, so I'm, I'm so excited. The, the last few games of these sets are always the most exciting. 
we've kind of seen these aggressive plays get started more and more out through or throughout this set. Um, so it'll be so interesting to just see how that develops in these last three games, hopefully three games, maybe two, mm-hmm. um, of the play versus fall 2022 high school championship. Yeah, this is looking clean, you know, and I do love to see as well just how much the defenses evolve for both these teams and how much the offenses evolve as well. I mean, it's crazy how we're seeing a higher score game than a much lower score game, than a higher score game, than a much lower score mm-hmm. game, because we're seeing these teams start to realize, okay, focus on defense here, then once we have to see a crack there, we'll focus on that for a bit, then back to defense. <laughs> Communication is clearly there for these teams. Yeah. And you were kind of mentioning earlier is like how do you how do you plan around those those demos and like some of those kind of like game plan stuff? Mm. I think if you're Firebirds here, you have to be really thinking about how you shut down Nixium. Nixium with yeah. all three goals in that game four. Maybe you start targeting out Nixium a little bit, following Nixium around, maybe going for some demos, trying to make those plays happen because Nixium was on fire in that game four, and you have to slow that player down. Yeah, I mean, I see zero shame in targeting somebody at least <clears throat> because it's a solution to their kind of offense in rocket league if you're not trying to make sure someone's life is hard i don't know if you're fully playing it to its maximum potential there's so much you can do in this game to make people's life harder by bumping them by demoing them by making sure the ball doesn't get near them too often by clearing it to their opposite side by figuring out where they like to play the best and then making sure you have someone checking them often i mean you can even have someone in the enemy goal and just demo them whenever the ball comes in. Because you're allowed to do that in this game. Yep. Rocket League is so free form that if you see a problem, there's often, more often than not, a real solution that you can at least try out. And we'll just see if uh, either oh. these teams... What happened? <laughs> <laughs> the demo after the fact, too. Nixium is going to put that face off in it. Not even in the greatest spot, but Mako is just going to put that one in with a tip off the side of the car. A four-second goal here <laughs> for Crusader. <laughs> Um, really carrying that momentum forward into this fifth game. That was incredible. The camera couldn't even keep up. That was another four-second <laughs> goal, which is which you don't see often in this game. I mean, defense is usually so solid, and at this point in the in match, you'd assume the defense is more or less iron at this point. But like we mentioned before, like you mentioned before, Mason, I mean, it's been an incredible test of patience and an incredible tense test of that constant focus. Absolutely. And now Firebirds have the responsibility of making something happen here. You're going to have to get the ball into the Crusader end and get a goal here and even this up, hopefully sooner than later for them. Oh, but Nixium <laughs> is going to get his hands on the ball. He's going to put one home. 70 mile per hour goal here. Two touch yet again from Nixium. Passing it to himself is going to put that one in high. Too hard to save that one from Casido. Going to the next point here. It's only been about 45 seconds, and we've already got two goals on the side of Crusader. Now, that's nothing to worry about too, too much for the side of Firebirds. Four minutes is a lot of time to work with, and when it comes down to it, if your demons is solid enough, you will make those goals back. Absolutely. They are going to have to keep it out of their end here. Crusader is starting another offense. Mako going in. But Nixium is hanging back. I like this play from them. Just making sure that they always have one player on defense. But it's Kappa. It's going to put that one in. Yeah, just sneaks right in there. Over the side of Tectonics. Was a demo at the same time? Yeah, I think Casido <laughs> might have gotten a, put that one up and a demo to assist it. Uh, so really making that play happen. Some great teamwork coming out of the Firebirds. Yeah, really solid so far. I mean, Firebirds have been not only incredible at trying to get that defense like, solidified, but also being able to really make sure that um, when they see an opportunity, they strike every time. Absolutely. Gap as well, carrying it back over and right over the heads of everyone as they're all flipping trying to keep up with the ball. Get that little bump there. Shot. You see Magic Majin here just kind of getting in Tectonic's yeah. way. Yeah. Start flipping back towards him like, hey, how dare you, man? Come <laughs> yeah. on, man. I don't care where you are as long as you're not anywhere near the ball. Just going to get in your way a little bit. We have an even game after those two early goals from Crusader. Mm. Crusader Krima. 
Setting up for the team. Firebirds. Now is their chance to really clap back. You've made two goals. Get one more. Seal that lead. And strengthen up your defense one more time. Because we know that... I mean, I mean, you know what? At least personally, I feel like Firebirds have really solid defense. A little bit over on the edge. Uh, over the edge of uh, Consider Esports' defense here. Consider Esports have those really, really solid team plays on their offense. Yeah. I'd say that, like, for Crusader, their team play feels like Tectonics and Mako making space for Nixium and making sure that Nixium can can kind of, like, play that ball. Uh, mm. Whereas Firebirds, it feels like their teamwork is a little bit more um, well-rounded, where all three of them are kind of, you know, making things happen. I think both yeah. are great options. It's just, you know, making sure that you play the style that suits the team you have, right? Oh, totally. Uh, so both of these teams doing a great job of strategizing and... You can see it so even in this game five. Yeah, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of really good team set up from Crusaders, but Firebirds don't really focus on that as much as they focus on those opportunities, those single chances to get it right through. You can see Kappa capitalizing on that perfectly as he sees the ball slow down just a bit between Mako and Nixium and Tectonics, and then just bounces it off the ground, dribbles it right in, no problem. If you see a chance, you see a window, capitalize on it every time the Firebirds are gonna swoop in unstoppable play so far yeah it's kappa has really been the ultimate opportunist here when there's an opportunity and people you know let the ball hang for a second or two kappa has always been exactly where he needs to be to make that into a play for the firebirds right into the sky here the capital's waiting waiting in midfield for anything to happen and then this is where i'm trying to talk about those checks that you need You're trying to make people's lives harder Somebody needs to get on Kappa and make sure they can't just run around and wait for his first opportunities because if, as long as you keep Kappa in check, it's not going to happen again. Tectonics, a little backflip there. Maybe trying to bait out a reaction from the enemy team. It's going to go down the field. Ooh, is Mako no! going to get there in time? <laughs> yes, is going to get that save. Just barely from Mako there. Very nice. Or from Mixium, I mean. No, no, it was Mako. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, th not I think it was not Trevor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Nixium is going to put it out of their side. A nice little two touch there. Mm, no offense over. started off of it. Crusader again. A little tip in. What a save for Mako! Maja had the cleanest shot from the top ropes, but Mako just barely on time. This is getting intense now. Huge save. If that goal went in, it would be an entirely different game. Yeah, Crusader. Does have to try and make something happen here, but at the same time, it's so scary because you don't want to overextend and leave your goal open. Because 4 2 with 30 seconds left is not something you'd be able to come back from. Mm. Not against Clear. the defense of the Firebirds. Next team has been able to keep up with the ball so nicely here. Imagine Machi, you see the setting up for a goal potential here. That's a little clear again for Custader as well. It's too consistent from them. Their defense has been really, really clean. But. At this point in time, their offense is to be even cleaner. Yeah, the Tectonics trying to make something happen. Oh, Nixium. Oh, it was Mako with a good angle there. But um, Firebird's doing a good job of keeping it out of their side, and nobody is going to be there to pick that up. So Firebirds are going to take this advantage and move on to set point in this best of seven. Mm. It's Kappa getting all three of those goals there. <laughs> like, what? Has definitely been the goal scorer for Firebirds throughout yeah. this set. I mean, really, really amazing play so far. Kappa, you've been looking all fire. The MVP for that match, for sure. As we see what happens in our next match. I'm excited to see just how much we get to see Crusaders clap back, because now they're in the hot seat. And comparatively, these teams do have a lot of options in terms of how they're going to play this game. But I also want to mention as well, Crusaders don't have substitutes, but Firebirds do. If anything happens and they need to pull out some mystery player to try to get some mix-ups get some mix -ups going, they have that option. Yeah, have the advantage in the in the set here. I have the advantage as far as having some of those subs if potentially necessary. Um, that is something that's a little bit scary though, throwing a sub in mid-set when you have that yeah. kind of like momentum and synergy built up. Um so, yeah, definitely uh, something that can be great, but also can be really, really tough. Yeah, maybe this is a bit too late in the set now to try it, but I mean, imagine. If, if it does work out, there's no way I would be able to keep up as a team player trying to analyze a whole new player on the field when it's this late. 
Yeah, game seven substitution would be wild. <laughs> but you do what you have to do to win a championship like this, and both of these teams have done what they needed to to make it this far. Firebirds only one game away with Crusader still needing two going into this pivotal game six. Yeah, here we go. Look at these stairs. What food do you think we can get here, man? I mean, I'm trying to... <laughs> Man, I I didn't Those even know they packed. they go all out for these arenas, man. Yeah, you know, it's truly really awesome to see. Oh, they'll clear that! Wow, wow. Little cruise down the field. <laughs> yeah, you know. I can only imagine what the players must be feeling right now in this yeah, break in between <laughs> games five and six. <laughs> I'm sure they're not admiring the scenery. They yeah. are probably hard at work strategizing and trying to figure out. An answer to take home this championship. Mm. Wiping those palms. Don't want to get too sweaty. Yeah. It's got to be high tension there for those both those teams. And I also want to mention just how much it means to these players, I'm sure, to have competition like this and have matches that they can look back on and really be able to think that was not only the best I could have played, but also I'm so happy that I got the chance to play in it against these guys, right? These friendships could be totally made through bracket. It, ha it happens all the time. Absolutely. It's already going better for, for Firebirds here than it went in the last game with Crusader getting that very early goal. Mm. Good way to start off this game. Both teams not wanting to get behind right off the bat. I'm not trying to get that clear, but that could be a setup for the team this, this time. Nice tectonics. Ready to capitalize for keep up with the ball. See Crusader is for us. Trying to get a little bit more aggressive here. Yeah, ball bouncing around midfield. Monaco's going to put it up for Nixium. Is going to get blocked out by its Kappa. Right place, right time. Not quite enough boost tectonics here. See Nixium try to charge through plenty of wrist on deck, ready for a shot. But again, can't quite keep up. Magic Mushroom going to dribble it all the way over. Going, going! Can't quite keep up with his own shot as Crusader Sports is able to clear it. We've just been a little bit slower than maybe they could have been pulled all the way there, but. For yeah, it looked for like maybe a, attempted a flip reset, but couldn't get under the ball, ran out of boost. Yeah, they found it as well. Getting ready for a shot, as Magic Majin's going for it. But not quite enough control on that one. Nice clear, and it's Firebird's court. Tectonics puts Majin. it up. <laughs> okay, Majin with the save. They are going to get it out of their end here. Ball center field, always scary. Good lines on the net, but Tectonics is there for the save. Oh my goodness. Tectonics just got double demoed. <laughs> Tectonics got demoed and then right off the spawn got demoed again. You're not allowed to play the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we're saying though. I mean, being able to disrupt, uh, disrupt a player's rhythm like that is so important. And getting in their head that they might even have the possibility of being demoed that alone can make someone slow down, make someone hesitate, make someone look where they're not supposed to be looking, and that could be an opening for a goal, a save, anything. Oh, Nixium with that great flip reset almost turned that into a goal, but the defense of Firebirds is going to hold that one off. Good technology as well. Trying to carry anything over, but again, a nice save. Kremers with Rita really make the offense sweat while they're trying to get a goal in, just pressuring them while they're trying to set up anything. Yeah, and even though we're seeing 0-0 on the scoreboard, this game has been anything but slow. Mm. Very tense situation here. Both teams looking for their first goal. Yeah, I mean, I've been getting to lost two minutes here. I can't help but the FASA for such a good set so far. <laughs> this has been, whoa, off the top bar! And one more shot from Mako is going to seal the deal. First point on the board going towards Crusaders. And this is a great place to be in. Two minutes left, a lot of time on the board, but still, that first goal being sealed down for the Crusader Esports must be a huge breath of fresh air. Yeah, definitely takes away a little bit of the edge of potentially the set ending here. Wanting to take this to a game seven and take that championship. A little clean so far. A little clear from Kappa there. Tonics and Nixium. Trying to set up anything here. It's over the goal. It's a little bit too high. 
Is that? Oh, it looked like it was nah, almost online quite. for the net there, but Crusader <laughs> was there in time to make sure that one wasn't going to go in. They're playing no, a little bit more defensively. Yeah. <laughs> that tonic's time, trying to clear it towards Crusader Firebirds. But again, you can see Firebirds at least have two in net whenever the ball's on their court. Yep. And Crusader also making sure not to not to overextend here. Doing a good job of keeping at least another player back and holding on to this this uh, lead that they've got. Yeah, it's been really back and forth this entire set, but right now Crusader has to lock down, hold on this lead, let their lives depend on oh. it, and just like that, Nixium says, all right, let me go ahead and seal the deal. Just under a minute left, and two points on Sonic Crusaders. Firebirds have a lot of work to do in just one minute, and this might go to a game seven, yo. This might be it. Yeah. Magic Majin there was trying to go up for the save, but just couldn't get to the ball at the same speed that Nixium could here. So yeah, this is do or die here in this game six for Firebirds. They have to make something happen now if they want to win the championship on this game. They do still have that game seven to fall back on, but you don't want to be on that razor's edge in the final game. Ooh, another big demo on Kappa. Letting them play the game too much. Again, it's disrupting that rhythm, making sure they have to stay on their toes at all times, keep their eyes around them, not just on the ball. Yep, and only 17 seconds left with the ball in the Firebird's end. Looks like we're going to be moving towards that game seven. Ever where so likely. Everything counts. Surely. Yeah, no, no, this is going to be a wrap. Four Crusaders hit the ground. Boom. Yep. And it's 3 3, yo. It's 3 3. And we're seeing nothing but improvements from both teams. The defense is looking even more. Just one goal sneaks in there during that game, and that's it. It's been incredible to see these adaptations happen, and I'm happy for this game seven, yo. Like they were going all yep. the way. I'm I'm so excited to even even just see the start of game seven. I feel like all of the faceoffs at the start of each of these games have been so scrappy, um, and it's only going to be more scrappy in this game seven with everything on the line. Big props to both of these teams. Not only for making it to the finals, but at this point, making it to game seven, you know, saying we're here for a reason. We're able to compete at the same level that you are. And I seriously have no idea what could happen in this game seven. I'm just so excited to see it. Yeah, I mean, both of these teams, give us a pat on the back right now just for making it this far, <laughs> showing off these skills and also being able to be a part of not only the FSA grand finals and here at Play Versus, but being able to really have such a good match, and I'm really hoping they're all talking to their opponents at the end of this match, saying thank you and good games, because if I was a player like this, I want to come back next week and play them again. Absolutely. And this is something, too, that, you know, if you're if you're a high school student and you're trying to explain to people in your life, like, what you what you do for a hobby, like, this is such a cool thing to be able to say, hey, we entered this championship, <laughs> we were in the finals, this is what it looked like, this is the set that we played. And being able to show people, like, this is what we do, which is so cool because I, at least for me, when I was in high school and playing, playing league of legends and playing some of the other games that play versus also supports, um, there, this just didn't really exist at that point. Um, so it's kind of hard to, to show that passion that we have for, for games. So it's just awesome that these students are able to do so. Yeah. I mean, the generational difference that these kids have of opportunity wise is incredible. I mean, the fact they even have a bracket like this in the first place is one thing. Having a stream for it is another thing. Mm -hmm. And being able to perform this well is even another. Like, It's incredible that these players get to really fully indulge in esports as their hobby. And it's beautiful that it's come to this kind of... It's bore this kind of fruit. Absolutely. But we are getting into this, great, this Game 7 scrappy face-off here. Going into the Firebird's end, we'll have to see who can make something happen first in this Whoa! Game 7, and it is going to be Tectonix with the assist from Nixium. Ball's going to be put up here by Nixium into the air, and Tectonix gets up there before anybody else and puts that one in. Crusader with the advantage in Game 7 here. Not a 4, but a 14-second goal. I mean, I didn't think we'd see an early goal in Game 7, but of course, it had to be done. The offense 
I'm thinking in this game will be nothing but lethal, and defense is going to be... Honestly, if defense might be second to offense in this match because when it comes to like sudden death like this, when it's all on the line and you only have one chance to really make it all happen, you better start scoring before you start really focusing on saving too much. Absolutely. Crusader here, you can tell, backing up a little bit, trying to keep the ball out of their end, and Nixium will save that one. Yeah, Nixium. Thankfully, they have the breathing room to focus on defense here as they're up ahead. But, um, yeah, and now it's all up to Firebird to really be able to make this offense happen and even up the scoreline so both teams are forced to go on the hyper offensive. Absolutely. Firebirds are going to get the opportunity there, but Nixium with another save here. Focusing on... Well, I was going to say focusing on keeping the ball out of their own net, but then Nixium took it right down the bench yeah. and almost scored. But um, definitely strong work here from Crusaders. You can see Crusaders' ability not only to defend, but also get on the offense immediately after a defensive play. And that kind of adaptation, that quick switch, is so, so great in a match like this! Mako slips one in! Just a lapse of concentration for a moment there. You can see uh, Kramer is in the goal waiting for it, but it's not able to react. And that's going to be a 2-0 lead for Crusader Esports. Again, I've said it before and I'll say it every, as many times as I need to. Three and a half minutes is a lot of time. But when the tension is this high, it feels like nothing. Yeah, it's scary here for, if you're the Firebirds. You have to make something happen, but I've mentioned it before. If you try a little bit too hard and you don't have anybody on your end of the field, Nixium and Crusaders have shown... Oh, I was going to say, they've shown that they can <laughs> turn that around, but it's the Firebirds here who are turning it around with a great pass here from Magic Manjin with Quesito just putting it right in. Yeah, Very Firebirds cool. doing what they do best. Being able to capitalize on those slow opportunities of just getting the ball for free into the net with no defenders and... While it's only one point away, there's a lot of work to do here. Yep. Nixium does take that face off. Tectonix is going to try and put another one in. <laughs> does not manage to do so. Firebird's on the offensive. Keep towards the corner here. Imagine Motion trying to put in front of the net, but nobody's ready. Firebird's just waiting for a slim chance to get this ball in. Kappa from the skies. Where I don't know where they came from, but <laughs> <laughs> getting the ball towards the net. Now on defense, once again, quick swap, back towards it, making sure that ball does not go in whatsoever, nice clear from Krama there. As we see, the left side is trying to get a little bit hot towards Crusader's side. We just crossed the halfway point in this oh, game oh, oh. seven. Firebirds needing to make something happen here. Magic Mushroom once again, dribbling it, trying to set up the Firebirds, but the Crusader's not letting him have an easy time doing so. And this is where we're starting to see that real adaptation of making sure players don't have an easy time doing what they want to do. Oh, and right but... into the corner! Oh, you know it's easy for Magic Majin. It's so simple. <laughs> yeah, the ball gets popped right in front of him. And right into the corner. There was nothing that Nixon could have done about that one. We've got 2-2 two -two in our grand finals with two minutes left. Oh, no! This is oh, where we're going to see some really explosive plays. When the scoreline's even like this, you're going to see clutch saves, but even more so, we're going to see some really creative shots at net because by any means necessary, you got to make that lead back. Absolutely. It's going to be up in the air. Magic Majin is going to knock it back down, but Nixium's going up. Go for a it's shot! He's going to get the flip reset. Oh, oh, but will not put it in. What incredible what defense from, from Kappa there. Imagine going for a big whiff. This could be da dangerous here. Tetel's trying to carry it back over, but Kramer just keeping it in the air. Back towards Crusader Esports' side. All three are in net, so it's not going to be an easy goal. Firebird's going to be so good. Sniping out that one chance if they can let him have it. Crusader's got to stay completely focused on the defense here as they just have to clear it. Yeah, and there it is. Team's kind of resetting there. It's going to get pushed down into the Firebird's end. Put up in front of the net. Ooh, kind of an awkward angle. I'm almost going for shots here, but again, one minute left, and if this goes to overtime, I can't imagine the heart rates of these players. Yeah, and oh, no! Nixium with nobody left in the net is going to get another one of these two touches. See, Firebirds yeah. 
maybe setting up for an offensive play, but just left the goal open for a moment there, and that's it. Yeah, Nixium putting that ball off the wall to kind of juke out one of the defenders there, and then just beating the last one in that 1v1. It's going to put Crusader in a great spot here. Oh, Firebird's oh, oh, oh. trying to make something happen early. After if that Karma off. was on the bullseye for that shot, that could have been it. Instant lineup. Okay, Firebirds really have to be careful not to take another goal here. Ball in front of the net. Isido is going to get that one back into the Crusader end. Very nice so far. Corner tip. Back towards the middle. Kramer trying to line up for the shot. Firebird's not able to get anything in. It's oh, clear it back towards Kappa, the side. can you no! catch it? <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> no, how does it? Kappa had a clear, and the next team was so ready for it. What happened? It's in this replay. So Kappa. Oh, and oh, just dribbling it. And just snags it from him right into the net, and that is going to smell, spell doom for the Firebirds here. Ten yeah. seconds left to get two goals. Gotta make something happen. You gotta make it happen now. It's a slim chance. The slimmest chance there ever was, but at this point in time, with just one second left, the ball hits the ground. And of course, I'm telling you right now, Crusader Esports are your champions. It has been incredible play. I have no words to describe just how beautiful the adaptation, the offense, the practice they've put in, the amount of true teamwork they showed off. Crusader Esports. You're truly worthy champions here. Yep. And huge shout outs yet again to Firebirds as well for making it here and putting up such a great fight. They made such calm, collected plays. They're just great control of the ball, uh, bringing it right to that game seven. Um, unfortunately, won't be taking home the championship today, but what a great show put on by both of these teams. Yeah, I mean, I can't shout out these teams enough. It has been a treat to watch them fight. So I really want to shout out again our champions. For today, any tectonics, Nixium and Mako showing off their stuff for Bishop Kenny High School. And of course, on the side of Droll Academy Firebirds, it has been such a pleasure to watch Magic Majin, Is Kappa, Casey Dokrema show off their stuff today and really just make sure that it has been a fun time for these players. I'm sure they're walking with smiles on their faces, win or lose. Yeah. And a last big shout out to the Florida Administration of or Florida Association of School Administration. Is mm. administrators oh my goodness that's a mouthful yeah, isn't um, it? <laughs> for just allowing this to happen and for supporting these students doing what they love it, it means mm. so much to to not just them but to the greater esports scene as well that you know this is able to start at a high school level um, so huge shout outs to them and to play versus for making this happen yeah the name might be long but we love you all so so much putting in the work and making these tournaments happen so once again thank you so much to production to our associates here at Play vs. and the FSSA. Thanks again to the players, the coaches, the schools. I mean, apart from all that, that's about a wrap for us. I mean, my name is Suplex Plus. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, wherever you'd like. But, Locus, where can we find you, yo? I'm Locus SKA, everywhere you can find me. And, uh, yeah, it was a blast casting with you, Suplex. Thanks for killing it, all, <laughs> as always. And uh, that's oh, going to no. do it for oh, us. Yeah. And for the uh, the championships for the uh, the Florida region here. So thanks for enjoying this Rocket League gameplay with us, and uh, we'll see you soon. Take care, y'all.